Billions of people every day use the internet, including you. Most people use the internet for viral videos, memes, music streaming, and communication. However, when the web was first created, the internet was only used for sharing scientific information across the globe. Today, we will be looking at the origin of the web, the way it has changed our culture, and how it has evolved into something it was never supposed to be. You're listening to WJHS 91.5 The Eagle. Welcome to Media in the Making, a podcast where we look at the evolution of media from 1600 all the way to present day 2022. In this podcast series, we ask, how have different forms of media evolved and changed culture? Media in the Making, where media and culture are always changing. Now, let's take a step back into time. The first prototype of the World Wide Web was created in 1989 by Tim Berners-Lee. The original idea for the web was to spread information to different scientists and universities. When the proposal was created, Tim had no intentions of the web being an interactive platform. It was simply a way to share scientific findings. However, not everyone was supportive of this creation. When Tim's boss read his proposal, he discouraged Tim about executing his idea. Despite his boss's efforts, Tim went on to create the web anyway, and although that there were people who were uncertain about Tim's creation, he didn't allow the negativity to stop him. Because of this one creation decades ago, we have access to all of the internet that we have today. Tim Berners-Lee started the phenomenon of spreading information online, which grew into chatting online, into posting videos online, and on. This has changed the way that we as people communicate across the world. In a recent interview, Tim expresses how the World Wide Web has changed into something he never imagined. He says that part of him doesn't like how it's become something it wasn't intended to be. As of now, the internet is an unsafe, controlling environment. Today, a company is controlling of a user and their devices. Tim has expressed how his new idea is to change the aspect of a company having control over your device and being able to view everything you may search. This creation was labeled SolidPods. A solid pod is a way to protect everything you do on a device without worrying about a company or a server taking and abusing your information or data. Around a month ago, Tim spoke to an interviewer on the topic of solid pods and how they will give the power of the device back to one specific person, the way he intended it to be when he first made it. As a culture, we have grown to believe in almost anything that the internet tells us. This includes the fact that companies aren't using our information. However, if this were true, Why would they need certain aspects of our personal data in the first place? Because we have grown to be naive and too trusting of others online, we believe that giving information isn't a terrible thing. When Tim first created the web, it was understandable to believe in things that were posted. It was all scientific data. However, as we have evolved, the internet has changed and grown into something that overtakes everyone's minds. Now we can interact with anyone, post anything, and share any opinion with just a few clicks. In his interview, Tim had spoken up a lot about how upset he is with how the web has turned out and been used in recent years. In fact, he states, when asking a device who it works for, the answer should not be a large company milking you for all the data it can get to trap you into buying things you wouldn't otherwise buy. In the future, the answer should be, I work for you, I'm your agent. This is only one comment about the web changing in bad ways that Tim has spoken on. Overall, we can see how the invention of the World Wide Web was the first step to getting us where we are today. Tim took the first step into creating many of the technological advances that would later occur. Without the web, we would never have the ability to do things like worldwide communication, view online news articles, or even use social media. The World Wide Web set us up to be the technology-reliant community that we are today. Media in the Making is brought to you by WJHS 91.5 and the Eagle Tech Academy Mass Media Classes. Media in the Making, teaching you about the evolution of media throughout history and its effects on culture. For more from the students, this podcast series is on the 91.5 website, wjhs91.5.org. Thank you for joining us.